The most wonderful time of the year for electric cars magically coincided with the winter holidays. Countless EV releases have taken place, and we are here to summarize the latest news. In short, the electric wave is already here. Fearing that it will wash them off from the face of the earth, the most reluctant automotive players are jumping on the EV raft and bring to the fore quite exciting battery electric trucks, crossovers, sedans and sports cars. Let's explore these newcomers, but first subscribe to Automotive Territory and in your inbox you will always find a news digest about the freshest electric cars. Enjoy the ride! Mercedes Vision EQXX Electric cars have already established themselves as the world's most efficient vehicles, but the new Mercedes concept takes this notion even further. The car's bodywork uses ultralight parts, while its sleek shape decreases the drag coefficient to 0.17, beating any car currently in production. The Vision EQXX concept consumes just 1 kWh for every 6 miles covered, squeezing a total of 620 miles from its 100 kWh pack. The latter operates at 900 volts and weighs 1,091 pounds. The new Mercedes Vision features a single e-motor that sends 204 horsepower to the rear wheels, losing only 5% of the battery energy in the process. Finally, the car gets 117 solar cells integrated into the roof, a sustainable cabin for four, and a huge one-piece display. Tesla EV powered by one Tesla cars are already equipped with some of the industry's densest batteries, but the Michigan startup One has developed a pack that might render the original obsolete. In 2022, our next energy is coming out to the market with a 79 kWh LFP battery good for 3000 recharge cycles and 287 Wh per liter density. However, it is their next project that is all the rage. The Gemini 001 is an experimental battery with different cells, including high-energy cobalt-nickel units. It has 203.7 kWh capacity, though occupies the same space as a Tesla Model S 104 kWh unit. With 416 Wh per liter, one completed a road test reaching 752 miles of range at an average speed of 55 miles per hour. On a dyno machine, this result was even more impressive reaching 882 miles. Sony Vision S02 When the Vision S sedan came out in 2021, Sony vehemently insisted that they won't be entering the car business. But here we are today, and the Japanese tech giant has launched Sony Mobility Inc., a separate branch that will develop electric cars. Obviously, the follow-up model to the sedan will be a crossover SUV, mounted on the same skateboard platform. The concept specs have not been disclosed, but we can assume that the Vision S02 shall also have a dual-motor all-wheel drive powertrain with combined 536 horsepower output. The range should be the industry's standard 300 miles. The suspension incorporates control arms front and rear with air springs. It rides on 20 inches, and the cabin can fit four, five or seven seat layouts. This PlayStation on wheels is 5G connected, has large panoramic screens for all the occupants and will benefit from Sony's proprietary autonomy tech. Electric cars are on the winning streak, but let's not get too careless and keep pushing the EV narrative. So like this video and leave a comment below expressing your support for electrification. Thanks for the feedback and let's keep rolling! Chrysler Airflow Chrysler is one of the most struggling brands in the Stellantis portfolio, but an all-electric transformation might turn things around. Expected to debut in 2024, the Airflow sits on the company's dedicated STLA medium architecture and comes standards with one electric motor producing 201 horsepower. It is made to a 118 kWh battery pack good for the maximum of 400 miles. Upper trims should offer all-wheel drive with the second e-motor on the rear axle. The cabin of the crossover holds four individual seats and has an airy feel, ensured by a huge glass roof and large windows. The model also gets a new generation STLA smart cockpit with a central infotainment screen, dedicated passenger displays, and level 3 driving autonomy. Chevrolet 
Chevrolet Silverado Electric. The Altium platform enables GM to reimagine the Silverado franchise as the next-level pickup for both fleet and retail customers. At launch, expect the CV and two variations, a flagship RSD First Edition and a pure work truck WT. The new exterior theme for the retail truck is about aerodynamic sportiness, highlighted with an LED light strip running across the entire front fascia, while the practical version puts on acryl armor and plastic cladding. In Silverado's case, the Altium platform stores around 400 miles of range, while the powertrain yield reaches 664 horsepower and 780 pound-feet of torque. These specifications enable 10,000 pounds trailering and 1,300 pounds of payload capacities. Additionally, the truck has an automatic adaptive air suspension, four-wheel steering, multi-flex midgate that expands its cargo capability, and a new generation interior with a 17-inch freeform infotainment, 11-inch digital driver instrument panel, and a 14-inch head-up display. NEO ET5 after launching a robust lineup of electric crossovers, NIO is now exploring the sedan segment. Their new ET5 is a mid-size model that has a fastback silhouette with a drag coefficient of 0.24 and it measures 185 inches in length. The car is brought to life by a dual-motor all-wheel drive system with a maximum combined output of 480 HP and 516 pound-feet of torque. It promises acceleration to 60 in 4.3 seconds and gets paired with one of three battery options, 75, 100 and 150 kWh. These specs offer around 240, 305 and 420 EPML on a single charge and even supports battery swapping. Coming from NEO, the ET5 also comes equipped with a large digital screen, a center stack infotainment, Nomi Assistant and numerous cameras and sensors that will enable autonomous driving. Audi S1 e-tron Quattro Hunitron This one-of-a-kind electric Audi was developed specifically for Ken Block, the Hoonigan Racing Division rally driver, who is famous for producing and starring in Gimkana racing videos on YouTube. The prototype will become a central piece of his future release, already labeled by the media as Electricana. The visual aesthetics of this car pay homage to the legendary Pikes Peak Audi S1 Sport Quattro, though its aerodynamics are modernized. The car is underpinned by carbon fiber chassis, is designed to comply with all the latest FIA racing standards, while its power comes from dual motors with a Quattro all-wheel drive system. Other specifications of the S1 e-tron are yet to be disclosed, but surely it will perform controlled drifts with ease. Chevrolet Equinox EV while everyone was eagerly anticipating the release of the Silverado Electric, no one was even aware that GM had another EV in the works. Our first glimpse of the Equinox-inspired model reveals an attractive compact crossover with futuristic styling and, of course, an all-digital cockpit. Chevy also confirmed that the newcomer will be based on the GM's Altium platform. The actual drivetrain data is scarce. The rumors suggest around 300 miles of range and possible all-wheel drive configurations. Production is scheduled for the fall of 2023. The crossover will offer fleet and consumer-oriented trims, plus the announced starting price of $30,000 is extremely attractive. BMW iX M60 This is an abysmally expensive and performance version of BMW's Biglet Face SUV that also serves as the platform for the introduction of the Flow e-Ink technology. In case of the iX M60, when the sport mode is activated, the duo of electric motors generates 619 horsepower and 818 pound-feet of torque, blasting the heavy SUV to 60 in just 3.6 seconds. Additional features to justify this price tag are an adjustable air suspension with the m tuned dual axle, rear wheel steering system, 22-inch wheels, and optimized aerodynamics with a drag coefficient of 0.26. In case of this SAV, the 106.3 kWh battery is enough to cover around 280 miles, and it can be recharged at 200 kW. Lastly, in 2022 the German brand has introduced a body surface with a real color change thanks to the electrophoretic technology. 
Just like e-readers, future BMWs might be able to change color from black to white, be it for the looks alone, or to increase the efficiency of air conditioning. Cadillac Inner Space This is the latest member of the Cadillac Halo concept portfolio that joins the personal space single-seater and the social space MPV from the 2021 CES. This time, Caddy makes a bet on a mobility solution for two. The Inner Space is a dramatic grand tour that measures almost 20 feet in length and gets innovative underpinnings with wireless battery management. The exterior design of the model is very seamless and futuristic, but you can see it as an evolved version of the brand's current styling. The roof of the inner space is a one-piece panoramic glass that opens in unison with the car's doors. Inside, the GT houses two separate seats that can be moved together and gets a huge wraparound LED display with augmented reality, AI learning, and biometric input. And of course, the car is promised to offer full self-driving capability. Lexus RC450e The status of the best-selling Lexus guarantees the RX SUV the first row seat for the electrification bonanza. Unlike the retrofitted UX300e, this model will not share its platform with any internal combustion siblings. Instead, it will acquire the EC4X underpinnings. To match the luxury pedigree of the brand, this platform is expected to get more range and power. If we were to assume that the LFC concept was the original harbinger of the upcoming RC450e, then it should have 373 miles of range and at least 350 HP output, though 536 horses and 516 pound-feet of the concept would be even better. The next big thing is the introduction of the company's direct 4 all-wheel drive system and steer-by-wire technology. Toyota 2030 EV Strategy Even such an automotive behemoth like Toyota did not manage to resist the tsunami of electrification, so their executives had to do a 180 on the whole 2030 strategy. By that year, Akio Toyota has promised 30 battery electric vehicles across the Japanese conglomerate. For example, Lexus aims for a 100% BEV mix in Europe, North America and China. This announcement comes as a part of the promise by Toyota Motor Europe for 100% CO2 reduction in all the vehicle sales by 2035. The base platform for this electrification endeavor will be the ETNGA that already underpins Toyota BC4X and Subaru Solterra. Additionally, the Japanese giant insists on the further development of solid-state batteries that will be used to power the upcoming Lexus sports car with over 400 miles of range and 2 seconds 0 to 60. How did you like this dose of electric car news? Any particular model that excites you the most? I'll be waiting for you in the comments section below to discuss these matters. Before you go, make sure to like this episode and subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss the upcoming news digest. More informative content is already waiting for you on the screen, just click the links. May the torque be with you!